Hello everyone, I am Datta Trenika. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda. New day, new topic. And our today's topic is little special where we are going to cover functional safety and this will be presented in parts. So our today's part is safety instrumented system sys part 20. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of engineering, fundamental projects and career, instrumentation, engineering, deliverables, telecommunication, engineering, procurement, engineering and many more. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is safety instrumented system sys part 20. As part of the functional safety and safety instrumented system sys, we are going to present this in parts. First part that is this video, safety instrumented system sys part 20, safety life cycle part 20A, safety integrity level seal part 20B, HAZOP part 20C. Introduction to safety instrumented system sys. A safety instrumented system sys takes automated action to keep a plant in a safe state or to put into a safe state when abnormal condition are present. The SIS may implement a single function or a multiple functions to protect against various process hazard in your plant. Safety instrumented system are control system that take the process to a safe state in terms of the condition that may be hazardous or could eventually give rise to a hazard if no actions were taken. They perform safety instrumented function by acting to prevent the hazard or mitigating the consequences. The goal of the safety instrumented system is to reduce the risk of accident or injury. The SIS is the only way of a many layer of a protection that a plant use to safeguard the process, equipment, personnel and community. But when they implemented correctly, it can provide a very large reduction in the overall risk profile. A SIS is engineered to perform specific control function to fail safe or maintain safe operation of a process when acceptable or a dangerous condition occur. Safety instrumented system must be independent from all other control system that control the same equipment in order to ensure SIS functionality is not compromised. One can refer to the figure where BPCS and SIS are shown control system, operating equipment and protective system that is the protection systems are working independently so as to have the controlled output safely so as to ensure the safety or incident free or injury less. The industry has therefore developed some guideline and regulation to provide protection from such hazard. The SIS play a vital role in providing protection in many industrial process and automated systems. Now moving on to introduction to safety instrumented system where we will study need for safety instrumentation. The specifically designed safety instrumented system that is SIS is designed to protect personal equipment and the environment by reducing the likelihood that is the frequency or the impact that is the severity of an identify emergency event. A safety instrumented system engineering that is SSC outlines a disciplined systematic approach which ensure hazard identification, safety requirement specification, designing and building of a safety system operation and maintenance of the system during entire lifetime of a plant that is a life cycle. The concept of safety instrumented is a base studies through the safety life cycle which includes safety instrumented system SIS, safety integrity level that is a SIL, safety instrumented function that is a SIF, safety requirement specification that is SRA. Risk and the risk reduction method the prevention and mitigation method to reduce the risk to the acceptable limit or a level. The safety is provided by various layers of the protection. The safety method protects against 
or migrates or mitigates harm to the personal damage to the plant and environment reduction of risk includes changing the process or design engineering increasing the mechanical integrity of the system improving the basic process control system that is a bpcs developing detailed training and operational procedures increasing the frequency of a testing of a critical components of the system using a safety instrumented system that is a sis installing mitigating equipment this is how the sis system is being studied three hazard analysis the first step in the determining the levels of the protection layer required is to conduct the detailed hazard and risk analysis protection layer can be divided into two main types before going to the two types we will see the figure where various layers are shown we'll start from first process second basic process control system third alarm and operator intervention fourth safety instrumented system fifth physical protection that is a relief devices six physical containment that is burn seven fire and gas system eight plant emergency response nine community emergency response and two types involved prevention layer try to stop the dangerous event happening mitigation layer mitigation layer reduce the consequences after the hazard does event has taken place in process industry a process hazard analysis that is a psa is generally undertaken which may range from screening analysis to a complex hazard and operability that is hazop study depending on the complexity of the operations and the severity of the risk involved this is how the hazard analysis is very important while designing or studying the safety instrumented system where a layer of protection understanding is also essential going on to understanding of a safety instrumented system sis is an instrumented protection layer that is designed to move the process to a safe state sis system comprises of a sensor a logic solver final control element one can refer to the block diagram where process value transmitter logic solver final control element is part of this technology the element sis consists of several safety instrumented functions that is sif each safety instrumented function sif has a specified safety integrity level that is a seal which is necessary to achieve functional safety each sif is a separate or interlink loop comprised of sensor logic solver and final control element that is fe now one can refer to the pnid scheme where p1 vessel is shown and some instruments are connected that is a pressure and sdvs and flow transmitter and lvs are shown here two independent systems are shown safety instrumented system sis is shown in pink color basic process control system that is bpcs is shown in a yellow color so sis is consist of sensor field sensors are used to collect information necessary to determine if an emergency situation exist the purpose of this sensor is to measure process parameter that is a pressure temperature flow density etc to determine if the equipment or a process is in a safe state or not logic solver the purpose of this equipment or component of a sis is to determine what action is to be taken based on the information gathered highly reliable logic solvers are used which provide both fail safe and fault tolerance operation logic solvers are very often programmable or non programmable devices but it can also be mechanical in form of switches set up trip to the safety functions final control element final control elements important action determined by the logic solver the final control element is typically an automated on off valve with a fail valve close or a fail open functions here we have seen the information related to the functional safety sis and their details now moving on to safety standard in a process plant there is no such thing as a risk free operation or 100% reliability therefore 
one must think or a take task of the sys designer is to perform a risk tolerance analysis to determine what level of the safety is needed so for that iec standard 61508 which is a functional safety of a electric electronic and programmable electronic system is a general standard that covers functional safety related to all kinds of the processing and manufacturing plant whereas iec standard 61511 functional safety safety integrated system for the process industry sector and isa s84.01 is replaced by isa 84.00.01 that is 2004 which is the latest addition or a standard specific to the process industry all the three standard use a performance based life cycle model which specifies precise level of the safety best practices and the quantifiable proof of the compliance so these standards are very critical and now closing down that is example of the these systems are emergency shutdown system that is esd emergency venting system that is esv safety shutdown system high integrity pressure protection system safety interlock system etc are the typical examples of the safety instrumented system so this is all about the this we have tried to cover and keep watching our continuous series of this functional safety and safety instrumented series for better understanding of the safety instrumented system with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel ifanda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel ifanda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topic